All right, I'm going to try this. My sister said I should be doing this. I've always talked about having a blog called, or I should say a blog or a vlog, called Flip Flops and Snow Shoes. And I think I will do it today. I started this morning at 5 o'clock in Sanford, Florida. And I got on a plane and I flew three and a half hours to Fargo. Had a long day, but a good day. I saw a few deer, did a few appraisals trekking across the northern plain, been in many, many counties, and I'm sitting about 60 miles north of Minot, maybe a little less than that actually, and I'm in a town called Lansford, and I just finished up an appraisal, and I was looking at my schedule and trying to tell Charlie what time I was going to be in Williston, which I'm driving all the way to the other side of the state, so I started in Fargo, and I'm going to end up in Williston tonight, coming from North Dakota, or excuse me, Florida flip-flops and as you can see snowshoes it's snowing it's snowing here uh, that's not a very good picture but it's snowing here I don't know if you can see that but I was in flip-flops yesterday and today I'm not in show shoes but I certainly could be back to why I'm doing this um I was sitting in my car getting ready to figure out exactly when I would be landing per se in Williston and a little girl knocked on my door it's dark and I'm thinking oh kind of startled me she goes oh I'm sorry I didn't mean to scare you I just left my boyfriend and left her boyfriend at the Air Force Base and she's got to get back to Canada and she doesn't have any gas and she needs to get some gas and she's got to get across the border before 9 and it is 7.15 and she doesn't know where to get gas. The gas station that she thought she was going to go to, um, she couldn't find it so she was in tears and I just said, well, I really don't know this area. I've never been in Lansford either. So I thought, why don't we just call the lady inside? So we went ahead and I gave her a call and I said, hi, I'm... Dana, I was just in your house, and I'm out here with this cute little girl from Canada who's trying to find a gas station so she can get across the border in an hour and 45 minutes. And do you know if there's a gas station in town? She goes, oh, I'll, I'll drive her to the gas station. She'll just have to have a debit card. They're not, they're not open. So I thought, all right, I'm going to pull out, and I'm going to head to Williston so I can get there before, let's say, 10. I'd be a little after 10 before I'll get there. So I started to head out, but something in me said, I'm going to check on her. So I went ahead and figured out where the gas station was, and I went back, and they're standing there, and the gas pump's broken, so she can't get gas there. So she starts to get upset again. So I'm not going to say she cried, but she got upset, and we thought, well, let's figure out where she can get some gas. And this sweet lady from Lansford, North Dakota, said, well, let's just go to Mohall. I'll drive you to Mohall. So just like that, some lady sitting on her couch watching TV, waiting for an appraiser, a crazy appraiser in the... You know, after dark, doing an appraisal in her house, says, I'll just drive you to Mohall. It's like 10 miles at least from here. So this sweet lady from North Dakota, North Dakota Nice, is driving this little Canadian to Mohall, and then she'll come back and get her on her way. And I just thought, wow, North Dakota Nice. Flip-flops and snowshoes.